Hey, what's up guys? Hope everyone out there is doing well. My name is Mike and it's time again to another music reaction. Also, hope everyone out there has had a good Father's Day. Um, so hey, we got Agnes Sobel back on the channel. This is uh, the song Familiar. This is a request. Uh, this is going to be for Chip. Um, and we're also going to check out this live performance too. We're going to do a double header. Uh, this is going to be from Philharmonie de Paris uh, from 2017. And they had it uh, marked out for when each song starts. So uh, I went straight to this song. For the sake of having a reaction channel, um, yeah, I just went straight to this song and uh, have it ready to go. So Chip said, he gave a little insight into this. He said, um, Familiar is his favorite song. It manages to sound nostalgic and futuristic at the same time. It's awesome. So, uh, all right, that sounds like a nice setup for this. I looked at the lyrics as always, and um, to me it seems like this is about a forbidden love or is, you know, mysterious secret love. Uh, let me just read part of this for you. Um, our love is a ghost that the others can't see. It's a danger. Every shade of us you fade down to keep them in the dark on who we are. Uh, we took a long walk to the summit at night, you and I, to burn a hole in the old grip of the familiar true to life, and the dark was opening wide, do or die, under a mask of vermilion ruling eyes. So, uh, yeah, I, if anyone knows the... Uh, you know, the meaning or the circumstances behind these lyrics, I'd be interested in, uh, to know. Uh, without further ado, I'm excited for this. I think this is what the, this is going to be the third or fourth song of hers I've heard. And man, she's a great musician. She has a beautiful voice and uh, she's a great songwriter. So without further ado, I'm excited. Uh, this is Agnes Obel, Familiar. We're going to go with a, a studio, then live. Oh, yeah, maybe this video will give insight. We'll see. This is the first video of hers I've seen in color. It's like newspaper print effect. Oh, that's so weird on the eyes. Oh, it took me a while to figure out what that was. Ah, oh, such a weird effect. I feel like if I go further back, I can see better. Is that her with just effects on her voice, lowering her, you know, the octave of that? Um, or is that a guest singer? Oh. Yeah, let me go ahead and just stop and talk about this for a minute. Um, this is a definitely the most different of her songs. You know, this is the one that's, uh, uh, wow, this is like, yeah, I mean, Chip described it perfectly, man. It's like, futuristic um but her same normal sound you know it's uh wow this is different i i like it a lot this sounds great um she was doing some really cool i don't even know how to describe it some stuff in the, in the first verse that um god i mean you have to have skill to do just these i like i said i don't know how to describe that but um it, it sounded great let me just actually Yeah. 
See what I mean? But uh, yeah, so wow, this is a uh, this is a different side of her I haven't heard. Man, I've always, I'm you know, of course, uh, when I'm listening to artists that I've only discovered on this channel, it's gonna happen. I'm sorry, I always say it, but it's always true. This is a different side of Agnes that I haven't heard, and uh, yeah, it's awesome. I think this is about where we were, uh, about right here. By the way, this effect, man, like, it almost, you could, you know, she could stick, like, animation in there, and I wouldn't know, you know what I mean? Like, she, I think she, she could stick in just uh, anime or something, and I couldn't be able to tell if it was real or not. Piano is just a uh, constant. <laughs> no, that's so cool. Okay, so I, that is her, just with effects. Again, with that piano note. Perfect to end with that. Ending with the one constant in this song is that uh, piano note. Wow. Man. I'm letting it run out if you're wondering. Oh, so this was 2016. Okay. Uh, wow. Agnes Obel, familiar. Studio version. Yes, this sounded beautiful. I loved it. Um, I uh, so yeah, I've kind of discovered that was her the second time I heard the, you know, the uh, edited, you know, do 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 do. Um, man, she just the harmonies, you know, with the overlays of her voice there, just almost overwhelming. Just really beautiful. Um, so cool. I, that that adds in the futuristic thing that Chip was talking about, and. Uh, that's cool. I, I I really love the sound of that. I, I almost wanted to go back and listen to that that part again, but uh, I can do that off camera. Um, yeah, this was definitely the most different side of her I've heard so far, and uh, you know, but not you know. It's like yeah, I keep I repeated myself a few times on this, but Chip described it perfectly. Futuristic, yet she's maintaining her sound. Um, excellent. I I don't think I've heard too much from her that actually had. Um, you know, a lot of percussion in it, if any. Uh, so I wonder what's going to happen in this live version or if I'll ever hear any stuff with her with percussion in it. The only thing I heard that had percussion in it was, uh, uh, it was a remix. So that, that didn't really count, but, um, yeah, this song's awesome. It's great. I love it. It sounds beautiful. Without further ado, let's jump into the uh, live version. Here we go. Oh, there's some percussion. Ah, 
Ask and ye shall receive, man. The plucks on the cello sound beautiful. Her voice is immaculate too. Live. gonna do with since this is live instead of that effect where they're lowering her voice I just love Did they put an effect on her voice or did she or did she do that because if she did and she still maintained a nice you know uh voice with hitting nothing off key that's awesome oh my god that was cool i you know what i'm sorry guys we're going back just a bit Okay, so the cello plucks are replacing the piano, that's that constant note. Ah, I just love the way those cellos... Keyboard slash piano.
Wow. I guess so. Oh, live. Phil Hamari did Paris. Uh, familiar. That was excellent, man. Uh, sounded really beautiful. I, uh, I didn't know that, uh, you know, it hit me right before we got to, the, I don't know if you could call that part the chorus. I think so. It hit me right before that. I was like, wait, how's she going to do this? And yeah, she just <laughs> lowered her voice. That is so cool. Um, man, she's a great vocalist. This was a very cool version too. I liked, uh, the double cellos and I especially love the way that the notes, they were plucking those notes. Um, the little uh, outro they did here, I think this was a little bit longer than the uh, studio one when they did the outro. And um, it's kind of like the the way the notes were being played on the cellos, like, da -da 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 -da. Um, sorry for my crappy singing, but that kind of reminded me a little bit of uh, the, the end of the Sia song, uh, what is it, uh, Breathe. Breathe me in, breathe. Uh, yeah, so uh, what a beautiful song, a beautiful live rendition too. Um, excellent, man. Beautiful song. Like I said, this is uh, a okay. So hearing it live uh, kind of re removes the futuristicness of the studio version. Um, both are beautiful, but um, if I only heard the live version, I would have not known that this was futuristic at all. You know, I would just been like, yeah, okay, this is a great song, more like her. You know. Uh, the rest of the her, the other songs I've heard, but so I'm glad I heard both. Uh, you see two different sides, and um, I've I've been really enjoying doing these double kind of reactions, listening to a studio and live version for several artists. So yeah, this was a good experience to hear both like that. Um, I think someone else commented on one of the Agnes reactions I did, saying um, you got to listen to this thing all the way through the whole uh, live performance from Philharmonie de Paris. Um, yeah, for the, sac the sake of a reaction channel, that's not, you know, I, I don't see that as an option. Um, unless I were to sit here and do the entire thing in one sitting, and that's, <laughs> that, I'm sorry, I can't do that. It's, uh, um, I try to fit in, you know, uh, as many different videos as I can for different requests. So, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll get there as far as uh, checking out the rest of the songs uh, in piecemeal. But, um, yeah, beautiful song. Uh, another one that I, I love. So, um, I, you know, I think anything I hear from her is probably going to be awesome. Um, hey, guys, if you haven't heard Agnes Obel, I hope you like her. Please go check her out. She's got some beautiful music. If you made it this far into the video, I just want to say thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for enjoying some beautiful music with me. We'll see you guys in the next one.